and since I can't dive, I'm going to do something called a pseudo dive instead. And I'm going to go in first person, look all the way down, and when the water's under you, you can uh, press A and B to swim, and now I'm underwater and can swim. <laughs> so yeah, it's just it's just a matter of looking down, and now you can swim when the when the water goes above your head. That's yeah. so funny. I love how right off right off the bat, story skips, and then we're like right into something unintended. This is amazing. No, it it, it gets better because <laughs> so now we need to clip out of bounds. Yeah, of course. And, uh, there is about a 90 degree angle called the phase angle where you can just swim out of bounds with absolutely zero effort. And it just so happens that angle is this this wall in front of us. So this entire wall, uh, if we go into first person and exit first person while swimming and not touching the joystick. So let's go ahead and do the... Pseudo dive again, get under, and then we're going to face this wall, enter first person, and all I'm going to do is press A to leave first person, and we swim through the wall. <laughs> and then and then we, we, we just hit the, the loading zone. There. Doing down, up, neutral on the controller on consecutive frames, and then holding Z to crouch. Okay, and what is this going to do? This is, well, it's, it allows you to go to bounds. <laughs> and wh what's happening there is that there is a, a roughly 90 degree angle at the barrel at the same time. Like that. What? And the boss fight ends. And this is the fungi forest boss key. And we are a giant DK. Why? What ha What just happened? This is like we can enter it with DK by doing a swim through shores, which is diving and then mashing the B button, and it you, you swim through the shore. It's there's not really much more to it. They did attempt to patch that on, I believe, both Japanese and PAL, but they didn't even completely patch it. You can still do it. Uh, <laughs> through this torch here to get out of bounds. You just sort of walk next to the torch and you go out of bounds. And now we will go back here. And this golden banana, you see the sparkles in front of us. We I ponytail twirl above the room that's in, which allowed me to lower my height to the perfect height to go grab it. And uh, a lot of golden bananas in this game will be there in their spot, but the second you load the room, they disappear. So... Okay, uh, so do they get... This looks like, is it stored below the floor right now? Or you mean like, if I, if you walked in there, it would be there and they Yeah, just... I'll, 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 I'll show you where this puts us. So I'm just gonna okay. walk into it. And let's... Yes. Uh, thankfully, we have infinite health here, which you I normally wouldn't have when running one on one. Yeah, so we can just just try it until you get it. Oh, there you go. But yeah, you you, you wait a little bit for DK to sink in the sand and then try to roll through. And then Ooh, I, I see. Yeah, that, that's that's just the the lava from trying to hurt me. Right. <laughs> this is lava. So I, I did the the swim through vertical walls there because that was again that like that ninety degree angle that oh. happened to work. There's Lanky. Yeah, there's Lanky. So we're going to go in here, dive, and enter first person when DK was facing upwards. And uh, if you remember what happened earlier when we canceled our swimming animation while facing upwards, he's now skewed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So we can go ahead and free Lanky now. And this is going to save us a lot of time in here. Now that we can okay. clip the wall. Oh, because you can just walk walk out. Yep, so 
Oh, I, 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 I want, I want the height from the switch there. So that's why I'm jumping over the switch. Okay. So I'm, I'm slightly higher up now. The, like the actual whole system. Yeah, this is a little different. Where there's like, there's no known causes for these crashes. It just happens. Right. And, there, and there's nothing. Oh, like it just at random points. Yeah. Okay. okay. Did you so walk that? The, I used the robot to push me out of bounds. Here, oh we'll, my <laughs> we'll we'll do it again. Okay. Shoot him instead of trying to jump over to that platform. Yes, I like that strategy. <laughs> And then in here, if you walk up against this crusher, you can just get pushed out of bounds in that corner like that. Mm -hmm. It's a really easy setup. And to flip out of bounds and to get to yeah, this moment a little bit. Oh, that looks really close. Yeah, you, you, you might see the screen shake when I get it. That's what I'm waiting for, yeah. Because I remember that happened anyway. There. Did you see it? No, that was so fast. I thought it would do like a bigger shake like the first time. Yeah, yeah. You you, you kind of just it's it's easier because I'm the one like controlling it and right. not looking at a screen share. Okay. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is like four ish lanky noises down slightly right, and then twelve more lanky noises down left. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay. Okay, so just just listen to what's happening. I haven't done anything yet. I'm I'm just holding Z right now, still under the tag right. barrel, and now okay. I'm gonna start moving. So listen. So that okay. movement I did took me over here out of bounds. Oh, that's so weird. And then I tagged DK. Okay. Because this is a deep gold banana. So we can just roll here. Kick. You still have the right Kong to touch the right correct banana? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Almost. I mean, there are a couple of exceptions, of course, but most gold bananas can only be collected by their the proper Kong. Okay. So the gold banana is up there. It's We have to do jumps to get into it and be careful not to load the room. There we go. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and if you look at where we're at, we're inside this this pillar. <laughs> there we are. There we go. <laughs> and there we go. So now, uh, we, if I wanted to, I could do arcade for the Nintendo coin, but I don't. <laughs> we're only gonna do that today. Here we're gonna mix it up to a slightly different clip where I'm holding B to do a slow swim, and I'm just inching my way down here, and then you can clip through the bottom there into the submarine. That's awesome. Hopefully this isn't getting old. It's just clipping through every no. single enter the tree to get DK's blueprint. We could either uh, phase walk, of course, through the wall. But the sort of older method is to do the swim through vertical walls here through that wall. And then uh, this, this water height that we had when we went out of bounds, just like the ground, we maintain this this height of being in the water. So we can swim like this. And as long as we don't enter another body of water, we have we can, you know, swim wherever we want. <laughs> this height, right. Great. And and since you know how easy it is to go through walls when you're swimming. Oh okay. You can go in this is a little harder because the tree is slanted so you can't just do the normal like cf and swim straight into it so we have okay. to do a swim through shores again since it's a slope okay. so we are still going into first person to set that phase angle then diving and mashing b and it lets us in <laughs> oh it's okay and run out of time Oh, and they're starting again. I can barely hear. We'll just walk around a little first. <laughs> just to like, oh, to get the rocks out. Yeah, yeah, to make the, because the rocks fall like every, 
I don't know, every 20, 30 seconds or something. Okay, and that only seemed like... I mean, it really only looked like five seconds, maybe a little longer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is the beetle. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, th this race is honestly kind of hard. <laughs> I hated this one, but yeah. But fortunately, we are... I'm going to attempt to not collect any coins here. Okay, we skipped all the coins. Good. And then let us walk <gasps> into that corner. I'm going to make a restore point just in case. And then... Of course, we're clipping out of the wall. <laughs> of course. Yeah, so that... You just kind of slide through the wall there. And then we're going to do a long jump, like just to the left of that window, I'd say about here. Okay. Oops, that was, you still have ice physics. You maintain like the ground when you clip out of bounds. So I have to like get a real running start here for that long jump. And then, so I'm just letting Lanky fall. I'm gonna tap a little bit to the right cause that's what I do for my setup. But he's almost falling just straight down. He's just falling straight down right now. He kind of jumped mm -hmm. forward, but he turned around to the camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there we go. We landed on the banana. <laughs> Do you, does the banana cancel out fall damage, or would you usually die from that? Uh, so, and there oh. is not a wall here. Uh, this is something that was patched on the PAL and Japanese versions by taking this crate and making it longer. But on the US version, you can just walk through the wall as DK and Chunky. As long as you're one of those who you can just walk through. Like there's yeah, no- Yeah, they're, they're like the proper width to get just pushed out of bounds instantly. I'm still not tagged from the tag barrel that we initially got tag barrel storage on. It's sitting I don't know, on, on, on the other side over there. But we're going to do a gun dive there to take the our guns out. Right. All swimming. And this is the perfect <laughs> recipe for skew again. Uh huh. So I'm going to face upwards with the guns, go into first person. That changes the our angle to be skewed like this. Now <laughs> we can go through any walls. Uh huh. Are you just now... invincible as well? Like, uh, or did you we, hit are... that enemy? Oh, I, I, I did hit that enemy. Okay. Looks like you just yeah. walked through him. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> and now we are going to fly over near the tag barrel that we got tag barrel storage on. So it's down there. That You see the sparkling light. That is where yeah. we got tag barrel storage. And you, when we rotate our angle, you see now we can use the tag barrel again because we're close enough to it. So I'm going to tag Tiny, and now we are skewed in Ooh. Rocket Barrel with Tiny. And I'm going to go over here to this spot, make a restore point, because this is another one of the hard parts. Oh my gosh. That can potentially kill runs. And we are going to attempt to get the Beanstalk Golden Banana that is sitting very high up in another area of the, the level. So, and since we're skewed, we can fly through this wall. And this is my setup here, lined up with this this wall texture. I'm just gonna, that looked a little off. That was very off. So. I